Hi, TLT Carlson here, and it's been a while, but today we're going to go back to Dragon Ball figures, specifically the SH Figure Arts collection. I've reviewed several of these over the past year and a half, and I'm just going to show off the figures that I've bought. I've done separate individual review videos for all of these that are more in-depth, but I just wanted to give you a look at my collection so you can get an idea of what I've acquired over this time. Let's get started. First of all, I have Chi-Chi who Goku meets when they're both young children, and she eventually becomes his wife and the mother of his children. This figure, of course, depicts her and her young girl look as she appeared in the original Dragon Ball. And next up we have Krillin, of course, initially Goku's rival, but the two of them end up becoming lifelong friends after training with Master Roshi. And this figure depicts him in his childhood, including when he fought in the early World Martial Arts tournaments. Next up we have Jackie Chun. This is the disguise that Master Roshi wears in the 21st World Martial Arts Tournament so that he can fight and beat his students so that they won't give up their training or let a victory go to their heads. And he almost doesn't win because Goku just got so strong. Next we have Tao Pai Pai, or Mercenary Tao, the hired assassin of the Red Ribbon Army and the brother of the Crane Hermit. One of Goku's first truly dangerous, deadly opponents, and certainly one of my personal favorites. Of course, he comes back later as a cyborg, and I really wish that included those pieces with this figure as well. Then we have uh, Piccolo Daimo, or King Piccolo, the father of Piccolo Jr., or Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z. And when he was introduced, of course, Akira Toriyama wanted him to be, like, the main villain of the franchise, and he was certainly one of the most intense up to that point. Now we have uh, Son Goku Kaioken attack version. So you got him with the glowing red hue when he learned that move and was using it during his earlier battles in Dragon Ball Z. This was largely phased out after the Super Saiyan form became a thing, though. Then we have... Goku's biological father, Bardock. This figure depicts him as he appears in the Bardock special, which is probably my favorite of all Dragon Ball Z movies, specials, OVAs, etc. Another personal favorite character of mine, Mr. Satan. Introduced in the Cell Saga, he largely becomes the comic relief character who talks big in the face of danger but ends up being a coward, although in one way or another, he usually manages to inadvertently end up saving the day, which is good for more than a few laughs. And at the bottom, I have Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Son Goku, or Super Saiyan Blue, as they've started calling it, so you don't have to say that long name every time. And this is one of the many you know, forms introduced in Dragon Ball Super. Specifically, it first appeared in the... Uh, Resurrection F movie, which unto itself was later adapted into Super Episodes. Have you picked up any of these SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball figures yet? What's your favorite? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel for more content because I'm always posting new videos. And make sure you give this one a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. See you next time.